Ventilation. What role does it play in keeping your homes, your offices, your schools, and you safe from COVID-19? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and these are WHO's Conversations in Science. We are talking to Dr. Maria Nera today and she's going to talk about the role that ventilation plays in keeping your indoor spaces safe from COVID-19. Welcome, Maria. Hello. Thank you. My first question to you, how important is ventilation and how does it make our indoor spaces safe from COVID-19? Ventilation represents a very important aspect, a very important uh, factor to prevent the virus for, from spreading indoors. So something as simple as natural ventilation means opening the doors, opening the windows can provide this type of renewal of the healthy air we want to breathe. And uh, let me give you an example. Whenever it's possible in public spaces or in buildings, ensure a an, an, an natural ventilation, opening the windows. And in places like, and in settings like schools or working places or touristic places, what we are recommending is to increase the rate of uh, uh, air change, increase the rate of ventilation by natural uh, ways or mechanical ones, always trying to avoid the recirculation of the air and when we, you cannot avoid it then having filters that are properly and regularly maintained and changed is needed. Please don't forget that ventilation is very important but it's not the only measure so this has to be uh, one intervention part of a package of intervention to prevent uh, the COVID-19 to be spread. Maria, most uh, you know, indoor spaces around the world depend on uh, opening doors and windows. So how can we be sure that enough outdoor air is circulating indoors? Of course, we need to consider the, the space size. I mean, how big is the room or the space we want to ventilate? The occupancy rate, how many people is, is occupying that room? And the activities that are carried out in that space. And of course, there are formulas to calculate all of that. But essentially, what we know is to renew the air. And to give you an example, if in one hour you renew, you change your air six times, I think that will provide a quite uh, sensible way of making sure that we are reducing or preventing the spread of the virus indoors. Maria, it's not always possible in heavily polluted settings to open doors and windows. How should we manage uh, outdoor air pollution, preventing that, as well as preventing COVID-19 and keeping our houses better ventilated? Together with the COVID-19, we are very much concerned by air pollution. And as you know, this is a major public health issue, still responsible for 7 million premature deaths every year. So my answer will be we need to do whatever is needed to reduce air pollution outdoor by putting in place the different measures and interventions that are available and requesting the authorities to do so. But while this is not possible, we need to make sure that we still ensure some natural ventilation except, of course, if you are very close to the source of emission or there are uh, ha very heavy and very high levels of pollution. But in any case, you can consider as well, depending on your capacity or your, uh, your, uh, where do you live, you can consider what they are called uh, air purifiers and, of course, the HEPA filters that in some residential buildings are already available. Thank you, Maria. That was Dr. Maria Nera talking about ventilation and the role that it plays in, our, in keeping you safe in your indoor spaces. If you find this content useful, please share it with your colleagues, with your friends and network and invite them to follow us on our social media channels. Until next time then, stay safe and stick with science.